the question for this presentation is what are the fiduciary duties of a company director and what is the meaning of fiduciary duties so let's understand this in this presentation let's first understand what is fiduciary duties so the dictionary meaning of the word fiduciary uh, is it is a legal term and what it means when there is a relationship between two parties for any business purpose there is a obligation on one party to act solely in the interest of the other so this is the meaning of word fiduciary so when applied to company directors director has a duty and he or she is expected always to act in the interest of the company and often putting company interest ahead of their own personal interest so this is the meaning of fiduciary duties and this applies to nominee director also so the law does not make any difference between acting director and nominee director so these fiduciary duties are applicable to everybody so now let's have a look on what are these fiduciary duties and what exactly director is expected to do so as i mentioned always act in the interest of the company and what that means is while making any decisions in relation to the company consider the potential long term consequences for the company keep the interest of employees of the company in mind maintain and always ensure that company's good reputation is upheld consider what is the impact on the local community of the decisions of the company and act fairly between different members and not in the interest of one specific group of members continuing on this there are few more additional duties while doing any work for the company always exercise independent judgment and do not get impacted by the views of a specific group of people in the company exercise reasonable care skill and diligence avoid any conflict of interest do not accept any benefits from third parties for acting against the company and declare any interest in the proposed transaction or arrangement so these are in summary the fiduciary duties and if i have to summarize it in one or two sentences it only means that always act in the interest of the company be independent and be impartial now there is one interesting point that i will like to highlight so these fiduciary duties are towards the company so if you take a scenario where a person is 100% shareholder of the company and appoints a nominee director so the person is a foreigner and incorporating a company in singapore uses the services of a nominee director but in that case also nominee director's fiduciary duties towards the company and not towards the shareholder so if the shareholder acts in a manner which is not in the interest of the company then the nominee director can take the other view so in summary directors are obliged by the fiduciary duties towards the company and failure in complying with these fiduciary duties can result into significant legal consequences for the director it can be considered as a criminal offense also thank you for watching this video this video was brought to you by epica consulting singapore subscribe to our channel today to get notified when new videos are posted